maybe those of you who watched my last video will be thinking that this is the same video all over again, and so I say, NO! In my last video we took a look at 5 Roblox users who, using different methods, became somewhat dangerous to those around them. There's no mystery surrounding those users, since everyone saw what they did and what they were capable of, in any case the real mystery with them is how they weren't banned sooner. Today that is not the case, here we will be taking a view to those users who are surrounded by mystery and legends. Users who have been told to be part of disturbing stories whose credibility may be somewhat questionable. It is unknown if the story behind these players really happened, but is the mystery and the questions what makes it so interesting to know about them. Unlike my last video, whose users could not be anything too surreal, the myths of Roblox are many and very different, each one standing out for how unique they are. So without further delay, today we will see The 5 Strangest Roblox Myths On the fifth spot we find what is in my opinion, one of the most interesting myths to have ever been created in the site. If you played Roblox around 2017 and also were a fan of the myths, is very possible that you remember Lauhi's story. In case you don't since she was relevant very long ago, I'll make a quick resume. Lauhi was a normal girl who joined Roblox the 18th of January 2016. She would go unnoticed during her first years in the site, acting like any other normal player would and just wanting to have fun. However, that changed in 2018, when Lauhi's profile's description changed drastically to something a bit darker than you would expect in a normal young girl's profile. Put what the user said, Lauhi had a game called, My Dollhouse. This place only has what appears to be a gig ant dollhouse. Inside the house you will find four dolls, each one of them in different places, in order to progress the game you will have to find hidden teleporters that will take you to slightly altered versions of the same dollhouse. The dolls will change their spots and the atmosphere will be less friendly the deeper into the game you go. Even if it's not confirmed, it is believed these changes happen because of Yukuri, who is one of Lauhi's friends, Lauhi only has two friends added on her Roblox profile, who are just as creppy as Lauhi herself. Sorn is also a Roblox myth, and very little is known about her. It is theorized that the user of this account is deceased in real life, just like Lauhi, and that she was involved with something called the Yutuan Ritual. In her game called, Tomb of the Great Oak, you'll find Sorn hanging from a tree, dead. Unlike Yukuri, who appears to be somewhat responsible of what happened to Lauhi, Sorn appears to be one more of Yukuri's victims. Yukuri is the other of Lauhi's friends, and a very important figure in Lauhi's story. She appears to be some kind of demon that was somehow involved in Lauhi's and Sorn's death. Just like anyone in this story, very little is known about him. He is represented as a tall and dark figure that can be found in Lauhi's dollhouse game. It is believed he was some kind of demon that Lauhi admired and loved, and whose obsession for him somehow killed her. Yukuri has his own game where the most notable aspect of it is that a grave with the name Lauhi Prezedzian can be found. The circumstances behind Lauhi's death are unknown, it is also unknown what her relationship with Yukuri or Sorn was. Lauhi disappeared too soon and left us with too many questions, that most likely, will never be answered. It is said that rare events happen when Lauhi's account joins the dollhouse game, but since the account is inactive, it is possible that this will never be confirmed. Roblox is a platform that has been officially up for now 16 years, and so is understandable that during that period of time multiple errors and glitches have been found. Sometimes those glitches are mere bugs that barely affect anyone's game, 
but there have been cases where glitches were responsible for catastrophic events that have occurred on Roblox, the myth occupying this position in the ranking, is considered one of those Roblox errors that could put your account at risk. Error 45229 is the name of a mysterious account that joined Roblox in 2014. Not very long after his account was created, multiple testimonials came out, in which it was said how they had lost their account because of this user. According to their testimonials, they received a message from a random Roblox player asking them to join a game, upon doing so, their devices would mysteriously crash, and after logging back to Roblox they wouldn't simply appear in the home page as usual, but they would unintentionally join a game called, You Were a Fool to Run FR45229 OMS. And shortly afterwards their account would be completely changed, their color skin would be changed to red, and their username would change to 45229. Many speculated that this account was made by Roblox themselves, and that it was a bot created to test some features that went out of control, starting to lure players into his game only to morph them into copies of 45229. In early 2017, 45,229's account created a game, this shocked the entire community since until then the account was believed to be merely a bot that went out of control. However shortly after the game was published, 45229 was terminated from Roblox, it is unknown what the true nature of 45,229 was. Was he just a normal account? Was he a bot that went out of control? Just like Lauhi, there are many questions and barely answers. The only thing clear about this user, is that in case of truly being a Roblox glitched bot, he was the worst glitch of Roblox. Here on the third spot I'm doing a little cheating since the user in this spot is not a mysterious user with a weird as hell backstory, but a user who was known for his actions rather than his story. I'm aware this user belongs more in the dangerous users video than in here, but since he has his own page in the myth wiki, I'm adding him here. Rust is a name that sure will ring a bell for those old Flamingo fans watching this video, since he became famous for his involvement with the YouTuber. Since Rust first ever big appearance was made in a Flamingo video, where he can be seen stalking the YouTuber with bot accounts who look just like the original Rust, who are referred as spies by Rust himself, Rust has 8 games who when put targeter seem to tell a story, this story is revealed in Flamingo's video, I met Rust underscore 010, which I'll leave in the description. Rust is seen talking in weird ways, usually saying the quote, are you still there, but in a way so the first 4 letters spell, Rust. He is a very controversial user in the myth community, since many claim that he only gained his popularity because of Albert, and not by his own merits. Which in certain way is true, however Rust was also the user who inspired Flamingo to do more myth type videos, and this videos were what made the myth community so popular back in the day, there's not much to say about Rust underscore 010, despite his gold era and fame being gone, he is still active, and his game was the first myth game to achieve 1 million visits. The next myth in the ranking was originally going to be the number one on this list, but due to a certain incident that happened with this user, where information about him was discovered, I decided to put him in here in the second spot. I won't talk about the drama that recently came up with this user since that would ruin the story I'm about to tell you, however, if you feel curious about it, I'll leave a link in the description so you can read about it yourself. The Roblox myth community tends to classify every myth they find in a category depending on their threat level. Despite all of them being mysterious, there are rarely myths who are classified as dangerous, since in order to get such title, the myth has to be a threat to the player's safety. Yulifer is one of those rare cases. Being one of the oldest myths, Yulifer joined in 2015 and was quickly noticed for his strange attitude, similar to a children seeker, he was seen talking to himself when left alone and refers to the myth hunters as his children. Yulifer had a game called, Paradise, in which he used to lure little kids only to later those kids to disappear to never be seen again. Apparently Yulifer's game had a hidden script which allowed Yulifer to get the IP of anyone who entered it, 
This of course, made his game extremely dangerous to the point that even very professional hunters like Enso fell in this trap. He has shown to be very short-tempered and hostile towards people under the age of 15. His hostility and attitude has made him a very despite user, to the point that even other famous myths such as Chuck underscore Lloyd have proven their hatred towards him, even being described as a children murderer by Chuck himself. Yulifer is also the owner of one of the five keys needed to open the shade light, a mysterious place that resides in Chuck underscore Lloyd's basement that has yet to be explored. Yulifer's key to this day has never been found. During the very early development stages of this video I had intended to put Gaz the Clown in the first spot of the ranking, since he is without a doubt, the most famous myth to have ever been created on the site. However later on I changed my mind and instead wanted to put Yulifer on the first spot due to the chilling nature of his actions, but then, after learning and discovering more and more about the Roblox myth community, I discovered someone who I knew had to be number one. Well, is kinda ironic since in the end Yulifer technically did ended up getting the first spot in the ranking. I'll explain what I mean with this, but first of all, sorry for those who actually thought that a myth would occupy the first spot of the ranking, because more than a myth, the user occupying this spot caused the destruction on the entire Roblox myth community. I don't exactly know how many myths were in that group, but I bet my limbs none of them was as nasty, scary, and evil as the one player in here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the displeasure of presenting you Kazdam, the owner of the Roblox Myth Group Honestly this guy may be one of the most evil people to have ever created an account on Roblox and his evil doings are a ton, I'll try to explain them all in here And yes, I'm aware that this man shouldn't be in a ranking like this and he belongs more in a ranking like the one I did last month Yet, since it's related to the Myth community and Kazdam was technically a myth, hell, he was 90% of them, I decided to include him, Kazdam is the owner of what was once the biggest myth community in Roblox. Even when most of his nasty doings were still a secret, he had already been called out for his abusive and childish behavior. His first major incident happened in July of 2018, when he had an argument with another very famous Roblox myth called Morgen. As a result, Kazdam decided to steal and make public Morgan's personal information, such as her real name, the fact that she was a man, and even fabricated false charges of pedophilia in order to increase the hate towards Morgan. The hate towards Morgan ended up being so big that the guy behind Morgan decided to kill off the myth, literally, to the point that a grave with her name could be found in Gauze Circus in the sky, and her area in this same map was completely removed from the circus as well. Even if Kazdam's position in the group made that most of the hate went towards Morgin, still this is the point where some started to really see the true nature behind the apparent perfect king of myths. Since according to multiple people who were near him, he did act like if he was some kind of king. And this would be far from the first time Kazdam would trick people to hate someone. But we'll get to that later, as years passed, something that started as a theory started to become more and more real, until it was finally confirmed in a video published the 17th of August, 2020. This theory was that the famous myth that was known for his depravious attitude towards children was in fact, Kazdam himself. And not only Kazdam owned the Yulifer account, but according to some screenshots took in a conversation with him, he was in fact, 90% of the myths. 
this revelation single-handedly destroyed the entire community, since now there was any kind of mystery behind this account. This discovery had some unfixable consequences in the community. First, every single myth hunter of relevance left the group. Second, most of the most famous myths lost their relevance, since now it was known that instead of mysterious users with legends behind them, they were mere outs of Kazdom, who wasn't specially a person that caused fear or intimidation to anyone whatsoever. Even Flamingo himself, who was the reason of why myths got to be so popular back in 2018, admitted that Kazdom's revelation was what made him to stay away from the myth community. Hundreds of different like uh, myth mystery Roblox accounts type videos. Um, I don't really do them anymore because yeah, Kazdom. Uh, apparently he he was running a lot of the myth accounts that I was like uh, that I like the storylines of, and uh, I mean their description says it all. He had illegal interactions with members of the community. That kind of ruined it for me. So yeah, this man also single-handedly killed the entire myth trend. But don't make yourself too comfortable, because this is not even the worst thing this monster has done. I believe I mentioned how Kazdom tended to act like if he was some kind of king who had to be respected. And of course, just like any normal scumbag who thinks they are somewhat influential, he did abuse his authority. It was revealed in the same video that exposed his lies about the myths, that he had illegal interacted with underage members of the Roblox myth group. AKA he was a children seeker, which is very ironic knowing that one of his most famous creations was Yulifer, a myth who was known for his nasty attitude towards children. And even more ironic that this is the same guy who falsely accused Morgen of being a children seeker. When Kazdom himself was one. This says a lot, since Kazdom knew what he did was evil, he simply didn't care. Can a human being sin this much using Roblox? Well, Kazdom says, yes since it was also revelate that he manipulated his friends to hate anyone he didn't like, and then put all the blame in his sad dark past. Like bro, let's drop the formalities for a second here. You can't just try to flirt with minors and excuse it with, nah bro, that was me from one month ago, I am totally changed which means I'm free of any kind of guilt. Yeah, I know my actions could have ruined a kid's life and their family, but you gotta understand me, I was feeling bad. What the f bro, I know anyone is perfect, and we all commit mistakes, and I'm not trying to feel superior to you, which is honestly kinda hard since you are the equivalent of trash. Try but my mistakes are for example, dropping a glass to the floor, not fucking taking advantage of kids who adore me in order to satisfy my sexual desires, I'll always find hilarious how this man spent his Roblox life creating scary evil tales, yet none of them was as scary, evil, and disgusting, as his own story. Hello there fellow viewer, first of all, thank you so much for making it until the end of the video. Making these videos takes time, but all of that time is worth it if you are hearing this words. Second of all, I'd like to thank Erbeth for doing these sick drawings, especially since I'm aware she doesn't like me that much. And finally, to announce that my next video will be a very extensible and deep review of Verde Cafe, since the last one I made like 11 months ago or so, didn't age that well. Welp, that's all for today's video, leave a like if you feel like it, since it would really motivate me to keep doing these little projects of mine. Thanks for watching and good night.